hope you remember, today is Disco Tuesdays. What is this funky piece of art? What are we going to be doing today? We are going to be creating one point perspective. Let's see how to do it now. Ooh. to start with the first step and it is so easy you won't even believe it we are going to be doing a horizon line say what say what say what a horizon line a horizon go line goes from side to side it is the dividing line between the sky and the land so wherever sky and land meet that is your horizon line so when I draw this I'm gonna use my handy dandy ruler to make sure that I have it on here nice and straight. And then I'm going to draw a straight line just across my paper. So I go a straight line just across my paper like that. Now, don't draw too heavy because we will be erasing some of this stuff later. So there is my horizon line. So you guys should be able, let me get out of there. Should be able to see it. Miss Coker got it a little wonky in some spots, but that's okay, no problem. Now the next thing we're going to add right in the middle is the vanishing point. That's where everything will eventually get smaller. So I just do a, a dot right in the middle. And now I got my vanishing point. All right, step number two. We need to draw two receding lines to what receding lines that's going to guide us where to put our stuff where it gets smaller and smaller and smaller so you're basically doing two diagonal lines so i start right here at my vanishing point because i need to do that so i start there and i'm going to go all the way to the edge of my paper like that so i'm going to go right at the corner there and i'm going to go straight down i'm not going above my horizon line i'm going all the way down to the bottom so i did that one right there now I'm going to go on the other side here. Give me just a second as I move on over. And remember, I start right here at my vanishing point. Start there. Okay. Ah, oh, Miss Coker. And I go right there to the edge of my paper. And I'm going to draw a straight line going straight down. Now Miss Coker's doing this with her right hand and I'm left-handed. Hopefully I can make it turn out right. Whew. Turned out just fine. So now you see I have a horizon line, vanishing point, and two receding lines. See you at the next step. <laughs> so the next step is we're going to start adding the stuff that we want to recede in the background. My favorite thing to draw is buildings. I think it kind of makes it look cool. So I'm going to show that first. And then if you decide later on you want to add dinosaurs, you want to add tigers, laggers, whatever, you can totally do that. So I'm gonna show you how to do a building to make it look three-dimensional and slowly receding. So as a reminder, we need a ruler, we need a pencil, and our paper. Okay, so this is when it gets a little tricky. So I'm gonna zoom in close, but let me zoom in, let me zoom in, get my camera just right. Excuse me, camera. Oh, you're excused, Miss Coker's camera. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is this. Whatever is going in the front, that is your foreground. You guys should know that from this year. It goes foreground, middle ground, background. And I got a question for you. Whatever's in the foreground, is it the smallest, medium, or the biggest? Huh, huh, huh? The biggest, you're right. That's right. So I'm gonna start my building on this receding line right here. So I take my ruler, cause buildings aren't wonky monkeys. So I start it right there, okay? So I'm gonna take a straight line and I'm gonna go straight up. I'm gonna go past my horizon line and I can keep going if I want like that, okay? So I have a pretty long line. The next step I'm going to do is to do this. So I'm gonna have another one start about here. And I'm gonna have a straight line go up. And I'm gonna have it stop at the same part as my last line. So as you can see, I've got two of my buildings right here, but we're not done yet, okay? The one that is closest to the vanishing point, so the one that is on the left-hand side, the closest to the vanishing point, I'm going to take my ruler to the top of it like this, okay? And I'm going to, come on, ruler, don't move on me now. I'm gonna have to move you a little bit. 
I'm gonna take it to the top like that, and I'm gonna take this line straight to my vanishing point. Now, I don't want it too heavy bevy, because then it'll make it harder to erase. So I take that straight down, chugga chugga choo. Okay, so I got that like that. Ooh, starting to look realistic. Now, this is why I said it, it's very important to pay attention. So I'm gonna take this part, and this is when I get to decide how wide I want my building to be. So I'm gonna have it go right here. I'm not gonna go, have it go past the receding line, and I'm not gonna have it go past the line that I just had going to the vanishing point. So I do that. So do you see? So right now I've got one, two, three, four lines. I have not put the roof to my building yet, so I need to do that next. You can use a ruler to make it straight. Miss Coker's just gonna do this free-handed. Okay, uh, that should go right there. Okay, now there's one thing that's really important that we need to do next, and we need to erase some lines because some of these lines look a little confusing. So if you need to go get an eraser, go get, go get it now. with this one right here is do you see this line right here I need it to go straight across like that so I actually come back and I erase this line okay do you guys see how we have a three-dimensional rectangular prism right now we've got a building so if I wanted to with my building I could add let's think let's think could we add <gasps> windows very good idea so I could add some windows And then what are those things called that helps you get in and out of a building? What is it called? <gasps> doors, that's right, that's right. So I could add some doors. Maybe I just have this one right here. Now, if you're drawing windows on this side and you want them to be rectangular, I go straight line, straight line. Now this has to angle exactly how it is on this. So if it has an angle like this, they need to go directly to that vanishing point, and that's the only way to make these look realistic. I have to have them go directly to the vanishing point. And that makes them, maybe I have my, this design goes out like this or something. Okay, maybe I have a design going like that on my building. It's like a cool graphic funky building, okay? So that is one building. I'm gonna show you how to do it again just so as a review. buildings this one right here I decided just to leave as is and have it vanishing into the vanishing point and this one I decided to end and then I added some light poles right here and I need to erase that the next thing you guys can do is color it in and that's the next step I'm going to do show it off which I love seeing you guys show it off there's two ways you can show me one the flip grid in Google classroom I have all the instructions there two you send me a private message on Google classroom you take a picture of your artwork you send it to me and then you will get a special shout out now I think you know what time it is it's time for the special shout outs hit it